Hello, welcome to our English class today. Today we're gonna learn about energy, types of energy, and energy transfer. My name is Miguel Scott. I'm gonna ask you please to follow me so we can learn about energy. Hello, well today we're going to learn about energy. As I told you at the beginning, energy types and the transfer of energy. Well, what's energy? Energy is everywhere. Even right now that I am speaking, I'm using energy. If you are watching this video sitting down, you're using energy. The energy is used in our houses, is used in our everyday life. And why is energy important? Well, energy is as important as life. Since energy was created, or energy exists since the earth was created. Well, energy, we can say that energy is the ability to do work. Energy, energy types, and energy transfer. Now we are going to start with where is energy? Everybody might be asking themselves, so what is energy? Well, energy is the ability to do work. And where is energy? Energy is everywhere. We can start by saying that energy is inside of us. We are full of energy. As you can see here, energy is inside of our bodies. When we walk, as we move, even sleeping, we are using energy. Energy is used in our bodies to speak, to move, and to do everything that we do in our, in our lives. That is where energy is found. Well, energy is found in our houses. Uh, every electrodomestic that we use at home uses energy. If you are sitting down watch, watching TV or watching this video in this moment, you're using energy. Energy can be found in our kitchens. Yes, in our kitchens. Why? Because our moms cook and they use heat energy so they can cook, so they can feed us. And the energy is used in the kitchen. Energy can be even found on the streets where you can, you can see uh, cars moving outside, well, cars move through energy. And we're going to see the different types of energy that are used when they are using cars. For example, the cars use mechanical uh, energy. Well, mechanical uh, energy is one of the types that we are going to see today. Well, types of energy. The first one we have here is mechanical uh, energy. The second one that we are showing here is thermal or heat energy. The number three is chemical energy. The next one that we will see today is also electromagnetic energy. And finally, we can talk about kinetic energy. These are five, only five types of energy. There are more types of energy, but today we're going to learn these five types of energy. Let's start by explaining the number one, mechanical energy. Well, mechanical energy is energy that results from the movement or the location of an object. Mechanical energy is the sum of kinetic energy. Well, also with potential energy. When you sum kinetic and energy and potential energy, as a result, we have mechanical energy. Well, some examples of mechanical energy are an object possessing a mechanical energy has both kinesthetic and potential energy. Also, the energy has one of the forms may equal to zero. A moving car has kinetic energy. If you have the car up, um, if you move the car up of a mountain, and then we have the sum of potential and kinetic energy. A book that is sitting on a table, it contains only potential energy. So the mechanical energy is the result from the sum of the both energies, kinetic and potential energy. The second type of energy that we will see today is thermal energy. Thermal energy, or heat energy as it is also known, 
reflects the temperature difference between two systems or two objects. Two objects might have different temperatures and one of them will have more thermal energy than the second one. What is an example of thermal energy? Well, a cup of hot coffee has thermal energy. You generate heat and have thermal energy with respect to your environment. That is how we generate the thermal energy. Our third uh, energy that we will learn today about is chemical energy. Chemical energy results from chemical reactions between atoms and molecules. There are different types of chemical energy, such as electrochemical energy and cum cumiluminescence energy. Examples of chemical energy. A good example of chemical energy is an electromechanical cell or a battery. Those kind of batteries that we use right now in our cell phones, they use chemical energy to make our cell phones work. The next one, the next one, the next energy that we will see today is electromagnetic energy. Electromagnetic energy or radiant energy is energy from light or electromagnetic waves. Examples of electromagnetic energy is any form of light that has electromagnetic energy, including parts of the spectrum we can see, the radio, um, the gamma rays, X-rays, microwaves, and ultraviolet light are some examples of electromagnetic energy. So even though we don't see it, it even the electromagnetic is everywhere. The electromagnetic energy can be found, as I said before, when you go to the doctor and an X-ray is taken from your body, you, the, the doctors are using electromagnetic energy so they can help us to heal our bodies. The next one that we will see today is kinetic energy. Well, kinetic energy is the energy of motion of a body. It ranges from zero to a positive value. What does that mean? Uh, kinetic energy uh, doesn't exist until something starts moving. Well, an example of uh, kinetic energy is a child swinging in a swing, no matter whether the swing is moving forward or backward, the value of the kinetic energy is never negative, yes? As long as the child is swinging, the, electromag the kinetic energy is not equal to zero, yes? It is always uh, a positive energy. Well, now we will continue with the next part and I, ha I would like to explain that energy, uh, energy cannot be created. Energy stores and energy transfers. Well, as I told you before, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can be stored or it can be transferred. From an example, it could be that energy moves from a hot object to a cooler object by conduction, convection, or radiation. Yes, so we have already seen these five types of energy, and now I would like to explain the next part, which is the transfer of energy. Yes, well, the transfer of energy is going to be explained by an experiment that we will have here, and I would like you to follow me so you can see how energy can be transferred, and I hope you enjoy these following experiments that will show us how energy can be transferred from one, from one object to another. I'm gonna show you our first experiment. To do our first, first experiment, we need a piece of, of foil, we need a couple of candles, we need a wooden stick, and we will also need a box of matches to turn on the candles. To do this experiment, I'm gonna show you how to do it, and I'm gonna show you how it works. Well, through this experiment, I'm gonna show you how the energy is transferred from one object to another, or from a hot object to a cooler object. As we said at the beginning, energy is the ability to do work, and we're going to demonstrate how heat energy can change into work.
Well, here is our experiment, our, our experiment working. We have heat energy in the bottom, which is being transferred to, a, to another object, which is also cooler, and it's making it work. So remember, through this experiment, we can learn that energy is the ability to do work. And in this case, heat energy is making this experiment work. Let's continue with our second experiment. Now we are going to work with our second experiment with mechanical uh, energy, how mechanical energy is transferred. For this, we're gonna need a box of matches that I have ready here for you. And we're going to start by placing one of the matches towards you in this direction. And then we're going to continue by placing a second match just like the way I am doing it. And you can do this experiment at home by following the way I'm placing the matches. We're going to play a third match on top of the second one match that was, that was put together. And we're going to put a fourth match on top of them, just like this. What is this experiment about? When I move this match or when I press this match, the second match that was put together is going to move up and down. Now we're going to follow a pattern by putting the third match, putting another match like this, and we're going to follow a pattern. No matter how many matches you put together, if this experiment works, you will be able to move the second match that was put together by pressing the last match that is going to be put in this experiment. We're going to continue following the same pattern. And we finish with the pattern here. Let's see how the experiment works. After you have, you're done with the pattern, we have to press the last match that was put in the, um, in the pattern, and the first match or the second match that was put together should be lifting up and down. As you can see, I'm pressing gently with my finger, and the, first, the second match that was put in the pattern is still moving. This is mechanical energy, and it is transferred to mechanical movement. Well, to sum up today's class, today we learned about energy, the types of energy, and energy transfer. I hope you had enjoyed this video. I really uh, appreciate your attention, and thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time.